Hey Adam Sowes Michael here. Suppose you are on a game show and you are given the choice of three doors. Behind one door is a car, behind the other goats. You pick a door, say number one, and the host who knows what's behind the doors opens another door, say number three, which has a goat. He then says to you, do you want to pick door number two? Is it to your advantage to switch your choice? Since you saw the exploration of the Monte Hall problem on number 5, you already know that you should always switch to have two third chance of winning the car. Interestingly, a variation of this problem is surprisingly analogous to the Bell's inequality, the famous test of quantum mechanics. To demonstrate it, first let's check the result of the Monte Hall game by an experiment. The easiest way is to play this game many times and analyze the results. For example, we can create a table to record the results. We write down our door section, want its choice, and the car position when it is finally revealed. If we play a thousand times and always switch to another door after the month is open, then we will find that in our table there will be about 666 rows in which our finally selected door will be the winner one with the car behind it. A control experiment with no switch will result only about 333 wins for 1000 tries. In the second game we will change the rules. Monty will choose and open a door first. Of course, he will never open a door with a car behind it. It is not so difficult to see in this case, we will have 50% chance to win. Let's perform the experiment again, 1000 games with the new rules. We will see in our table that there will be about 500 rows with winner results. Let's keep in mind, if Monty chooses first, the probability of winning is 50%, otherwise it is 33 or 66%, depending on our decision about switching. Let's change the rules again. The first door choice is ours again, but now let's keep our choice a secret. The show must go on, Monty opens the door with the goat. What happens now? There are two possibilities. May happen that Monty accidentally opens the same door as we selected before. In this case, we know that our choice was not appropriate, so we are free to change our mind and open another door from the remaining two. Clearly 50% of success. But what to do if Monty opens a door that is different to our first secretly chosen one? Maybe if we switch, we will get bigger chance to win? Nope, don't get confused. Whether or not we change our mind, we will have 50% chance to accidentally find the car. The reason is that Monty's choice is completely independent from ours, so it does not narrow further the probabilities. If we create a table of 1000 tries experiment of this row, we will find that those cases in which we decided to switch the door after Monty's choice, we will have the same chance of winning as in the others in which we decided to stick in our first decision. We will get exactly the same probability result as we got in the game number 2. We will experience about 500 wins. Are you ready for a surprise? Let's step into the world of quantum mechanics. To reveal the secrets of the quantum world, the physicists perform experiments similarly. For example, in a spin correlation experiment, they repeat measurements a thousand times and they try to draw consequences by analyzing the data one by one and statistically. The quantum world may produce unusual results that I'd like to demonstrate by an example. In this quantum world we repeat the experiment of game number 3. Thousand tries again, the first choice is ours and we keep it in secret. Monty's choice is coming, he opens the doors with a goat, then we open a door, revealing whether or not a car there is. After thousand tries, our new table is ready. The results are recorded. We check them row by row. Everything seems to be similar to the results of the game number 3. But wait a minute! Monty have never selected the same door as we. Uh, very strange. We can try it as many times as we want. Monty never selects the same door as we do in secret. Maybe he can read our mind? Let's check the probability levels. If he knows somehow our hidden choice, then there must be a 33 or a 66% winning chance depending on our choice of stick or switch. And now surprisingly we found that the probability is 50%. And independent of our choices. 
Very strange. The statistics of the results suggest that Monsi's choices were independent of ours. The probability distribution is also similar to the case of the game number 2, in which Monty opened the door first. But by inspecting the data row by row, we are aware that there is a strong correlation, a strong rule between our and Monty's decision. How that can be? There are several interpretations of quantum mechanics. Maybe these kind of results can be explained by retrocausality or the many words chain. The most accepted way is to suppose that the car is in superposition until every possible case is excluded, until that the position of the car is not measured by opening at least two doors. Maybe there is no other explanation than applying some kind of uncertainty in the quantum world. Mm-hmm.